Is it worthwhile to teach organizational skills to change the impact of ADHD in the classroom? Teachers are well aware of the challenges that students with ADHD in classrooms may face in organization and time management is crucial. When left unaddressed, these challenges can have a significant impact on ADHD in the classroom, such as meltdowns from students, stress, class being stopped in order to support the disorganized student, lack of student focus caused by being overwhelmed. Hi there, Marion Busfield here from Engaging Curiosity. I support teachers like you with classroom management strategies and resources to empower you to calm the chaos, renew student engagement, and then reclaim your personal time away from planning. I draw my understanding from the work of Dr. Edward Hallowell, an American psychiatrist, speaker, New York Times bestselling author of 20 books, and a podcast host. He specializes in ADHD and he has founded the Hallowell ADHD Centers. Dr. Hallowell experiences personally the impact of ADHD in his life every single day, and he has also worked with countless individuals with ADHD through the Hallowell ADHD Centers, which he founded. Some strategies for addressing the impacts I just mentioned include clear and consistent routines, provide structure that aids in task completion, break down assignments into smaller manageable steps. This helps students approach tasks more systematically. Use visual aids such as charts or planners. This assists in organizing priorities and deadlines. Organizational tools like color-coded folders or digital apps promote accountability and help students to stay on top of assignments. Provide regular check-ins and feedback along with teaching goal-setting techniques for a sense of achievement. As I mentioned earlier, collaboration with parents may mean you are supporting students with ADHD at home. Keeping in mind that ADHD has a strong genetic component, ugh, sorry, component, so implementing these strategies at home may be a process over time. But if, by providing ways that parents can be supporting students with ADHD at home, teachers contribute to a holistic approach that supports students in developing essential organizational and time management skills. By communicating a positive, supportive posture with the parents, everyone else has benefited as well. Ultimately, these strategies are good for supporting students with ADHD in schools, and they help to address the academic impact of ADHD. Hopefully, strategies for supporting students with ADHD also empower students to excel in their studies as they go forward in time. For more on this topic, see the links below for my playlist on managing ADHD in the classroom, and find the link in my description or bio to download my free classroom management checklist.